Hey, what y'all know about my boy Barack Obama, though? What's up? What's up, yo? What's up? What's good? Hey, yo, Barack Obama is killing it, though, dog. He's killing it, right? If you're an American and you love capitalism and you love money and you love bad bitches, he might not be able to help you on that part. But if you've been investing in the stock market, I know the rappers don't talk about that. The rock stars don't talk about that shit. Talk about getting their dicks up. Doing coke off bitches' asses. But if you're an old ass nigga like me, and you want to save some money and invest in the stock market and look toward your future, Barack Obama's the man for you. If you ride a Camry to work, if you stunting on these hoes from some chucks <laughs> that you got from Kohl's, if you fucking popping your collar from something you got at Ross, if you TJ Maxx bargain shopping, dog, then Barack Obama's the president for you. Check this out, right? Now, this is sure to make a lot of heads explode. Uh, this is not going to be good news for a lot of people. Even though, it should be, even though it is good news for everyone, factually. But, uh, you know, a lot of people live in their own worlds and they're not going to really give a fuck what the facts are or the sciences or the experts. Because that's just, like, elitism. You know, Remember, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, sweater vest motherfucker. He was named after, like, that nasty, uh... <laughs> he was named after that nasty, uh, fucking, uh, poop thing. <laughs> Santorum, dog. <laughs> but, uh, remember when Santorum was saying how, like, universities were fucking dumb? And, I know. I I'll stop there. We won't even get into that. This Forbes article, right? Forbes, pretty decent when it comes to business and all that stuff, you know, good old American economics, capitalism. Their article, uh, written by Adam Hartung, talks about how President Barack Obama is when it comes to uh, jobs, growth, and uh, investing. Obama did better than Reagan. So, Everybody who looks to Reagan economically, I mean, hey, look, the thing is, man, if you if you like a lot of what Reagan did, I mean, you can't really be against what Obama's doing. I mean, you can nitpick at it, which you, which you know people are going to do, but Obama grew the economy in so many different uh, facets. So let's go over some of those uh, reasons why. So what this says is this is the best private sector jobs creation performance in American history. So, you know, take that for what it is. Bob Dietrich. Now, uh, Bob Dietrich is a CEO of Polaris Financial and the author of Bulls, Bears, and the Ballot Box. Um, so what they say is um, Polaris's investor newsletters, who, who this, this, this guy is the CEO of, uh, they have been consistently been the best predictor of economic performance, better than all the major uh, investment houses. So... I mean, if anybody has anything to say about the economy, it's definitely this dude and this journalist on Forbes who has also uh, talked to him back in 2012. So uh, he says that this is the best private sector jobs creation performance in American history. So he, this is quoted as, this is what uh, he's saying in quotes. President Reagan has long been considered the best modern economic president. So we compared his performances dealing with oil-induced uh, recession of the 1980s with that of President Obama and its performance during the Great Recession. So you can still say we're even in the Great Recession. And also keep in mind that, like, uh, you also got to realize that uh, uh, President Reagan had, um, I forgot the guy's name, but he had a Democrat that he would work with um, so he could get things passed. Barack Obama has a much more difficult time getting things passed because he has, no, he has nobody on the other side that wants to work with him. Nobody. Nothing. Hmm. Uh, gee, I wonder why that is. Uh... Could that be? Nah, nah, nah. So, everybody who says, you know, well, Reagan had a lot of unemployment and this and that, these, these uh, studies that they're doing, or these, um, they're not necessarily studies, but they're like, I don't know. It's, it's data, you know. Based on their data, you know, they, they have controlled for all that. They have controlled for Reagan's economy and Barack Obama's economy. And they're still saying that Barack Obama is killing in private sector jobs. So, it's not to say that Reagan was doing bad, but it is to say motherfucking Reagan's getting his ass kicked. I mean, 
look at dog. Look at this. The headline of this shit is Obama outperforms Reagan on jobs, growth, and investment. This nigga got John Cena. Dang, 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 dang. Uh, okay, so another good quote from, from this uh, section we're talking about. President Obama has achieved a 6.1 unemployment rate in his sixth year. Fully one year faster than President Reagan. One year faster. Not only did he get it higher, or did, not only did he uh, work on getting unemployment lower, but he did it faster than Reagan. So what's up? What's up, dog? Hey, what's up, man? What's up? What's up? Uh, okay, so the next section is... Uh, the labor participation rate. Now, people will always say, like, the big knock they always have on uh, Barack Obama's uh, job performance or his total economy performance is uh, the uh, labor participation rate. So, basically, what that is is it talks about, like, who's participating in the labor force, right? So, they talk about, well, everybody is not participating that could participate, so it's not really a reflective number. Like, whatever. Like, you, you, can, you can, I guess you can say that, but what this is saying is, um... This is not a hidden uh, unemployment because that's what people try to act like. It's like, oh, but there's a hidden number, you know, uh, of people in the labor or uh, participation rate. Uh, yeah, he says this is not a hidden unemployment. This is not a hidden unemployment rate, you know.